I don't have the luxury of 500 takes because I got to get out of here. Normally, this would be an all day event, but I might actually get this done, but it's going to be ugly. And I do have some notes. And this is going to be a quick update on a 24 inch Apple M1 iMac. It's just an update. It's not a review. I don't have any benchmarks. I don't have any speed tests. I don't do speed tests or benchmarks. I just plug in spinning drives, SSD drives, and I work off of those. And this has the 16 gigabyte of shared memory with one terabyte of SSD. That's all I can say. It's a Visa mount iMac. So it goes where you go if you want it to. Um, it's extremely portable in the sense of, you know, certainly to handle it, it's nothing. It's, it's a giant iPad form factor and that's great. But this is as modular as a studio or a mini. Why isn't it? And it's got the screen that's built in, um, four and a half K screen, which is, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't flicker. It doesn't have lines. It doesn't go blank. It doesn't have a lag. It doesn't have a delay. It doesn't have all the issues that you might get with a uh, mini or studio from what I hear. This doesn't have that problem. So I'm happy with that. And I don't have any other complaints. I have no complaints really. Um, it's probably, you know, I don't know. It's fine for me. Wireless keyboard, I got a trackpad and spinning drives. Um, I know that there's a little bit of a, a, a gate, a port gate with the uh, USB and the Thunderbolt ports and what the actual speeds are, it's irrelevant. They work fine, a couple of hundred uh, Whatever's here and there is going to be okay with me, I think, because I won't know the difference. So I don't want to keep track of it. I don't keep track of the fan motor in my refrigerator. I don't keep track of the light bulb in my microwave. So I'm not going to worry about a couple of little things on this computer, which is essentially an appliance. Really, it's about as, you know, think about this, your toaster oven, your dishwasher, your washing machine, your dryer. You need them every day the computer, it's just an appliance, I think. More notes, but that's it. So, uh, and if you're worried about the port speed, actually you could use a, like a Cal Digit or another third party plugin port um, hub and just run them all off of that. And you'll probably exceed the posted speeds. Um, and I only use two programs, basically. I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro in Lightroom and Pixelmator Spotify and a couple of other things that the normal bloke might use in a day. So that's it. It's bulletproof for me. It's been on for 14 months. It's been shut down maybe six times for updates and vacation, but I don't shut it down and it's, it's never flickered. It's never blacked out or anything. That's it.